pens, amen, take some notes, amen, hallelujah, amen, hallelujah, I want you to turn with me, amen, to the gospel according to St. Luke, we're in St. Luke's gospel tonight, St. Luke, amen, chapter number 16, and we're going to commence our reading at verse number one, a few succeeding verses, St. Luke, chapter number 16, verse number one, amen, hallelujah, Hey, Amen. Can you guys hear me? I hope you can hear me out there. If you can't, just put something in the chat. Hey, Amen. I'll try to speak. Hey, Amen. A little louder. Hey, Amen. Hallelujah. St. Luke chapter number 16. We commence our reading. Hey, Amen. In verse number one. Hallelujah. And this is what the Bible says. And he said unto his disciples, there was a certain rich man who had a steward and the same was accused unto him that he had wasted his goods and he called him and said how is it that i hear this of thee give an account of thy stewardship for thou mayst be no longer stood. Then the stood said, un, said within himself, what shall I do? For my Lord taketh away from me the stewardship. I cannot dig. To beg I'm ashamed. I'm resolved what to do. That when I'm put out of the stewardship, they may receive me in their houses. So he called every one of his Lord's debtors unto him, debitors unto him, and said unto the first, How much owest thou unto my Lord? And he said, A hundred measures of oil. And he said unto him, Take thy bill and sit down quickly and write fifty. Then said he to another, How much owest thou? And he said, A hundred measures of wheat. And he said unto him, Take thy bill and write four scores. And the Lord commanded the unjust stood because he had done wisely. For the children of this world are in their generation wiser than the children of light. So I say unto you, make to yourself friends of the, of the mammon of unrighteousness, that when you fail, they may receive you into everlasting habitation. He that is faithful in that which is least is faithful also in much. And he that is unjust in the least is unjust also in much. For therefore, if you have not been faithful in the unrighteous man, who will commit to your trust the true riches? And if you have not been faithful in that which is another man's, who shall give you that which is your own? No servant can serve two masters, for either he will hate one and love the other, or else he will hold to the one and despise the other. He cannot serve God and mammon. And the Pharisees also were covetous, heard all these things, and they derided him, and he said unto them, Ye are they which justify yourselves before men, but God knoweth your heart, but that which is highly esteemed among men is an abomination in the sight of God. Tonight, as we continue our series called Stepping Stones, tonight we want to talk about, amen, the stone of honesty. And I want to talk about Amen Honesty tonight. Over the past, over the past few weeks, Amen, we've been in this series, Amen, called Stepping Stones. For those of you, you may be joining us for the first for the first teaching on tonight, Amen. Stepping stones are simply the characteristics or the quality, Amen, that you and I need to make it successfully across the streams, successfully across the streams of life. And past week, we talked about, amen, the stone of enthusiasm. We talked about, amen, the stone of friendship. We talked about, amen, the stone of faith. Tonight, we're going to look at the stone, the amen, called honesty. As it relates, amen, to enthusiasm, amen, all of us, amen. If you're saved, amen, if you're called of the Lord, amen, if he's, is he taking you out of darkness and place you into the kingdom of light, amen, hallelujah. All of us, amen, hallelujah. When it comes to serving God, amen, we should be filled with the fire, amen, of the Holy Ghost. Amen, hallelujah. God comes, amen, to, to ignite our fire. Amen, hallelujah. He comes, amen, hallelujah, to make us, amen, enthusiastic, 
amen, about the things, amen, of the kingdom. Hallelujah. And if, in fact, amen, you find yourselves, amen, hallelujah, you find, amen, that you're not enthusiastic, you're not on fire, amen, for the Lord, amen, hallelujah. A good song, amen, for you to sing, amen, would be Ignite My Fire, Lord, amen, hallelujah. I want to burn, I want to burn, amen, for you, hallelujah. Now, in that teaching, and that teaching, amen, of, and, uh, about enthusiasm, we looked at a man, amen, by the name of Jehoshaphat, amen, found in Second Chronicles chapter number 17. The Bible says that his father's name was Asa, and when Asa died, Jehoshaphat reigned in his stead. Now, Jehoshaphat and Asa were both godly kings. Here's the thing about uh, uh, Jehoshaphat. The first thing that the Bible lets us know about him, chapter number 17 and verse number 1, it says that he strengthened himself against Israel. Hallelujah. The Bible says he reigned in his father Asa's stead, and he strengthened himself against, he strengthened himself, amen, against Israel. Amen. Hallelujah. Now, Israel and Judah, amen, the kingdom is now divided. Ten tribes to the north called Israel, two tribes to the south called Judah. Amen. Their sister, amen, uh, 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 their, 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 their sister uh, kingdoms, amen, the northern kingdom and the southern, southern kingdom, amen. And the Bible says that Jehoshaphat, watch this now, it didn't say Jehoshaphat strengthened himself against the Amalekites or the Amorites or the Hittites or the, uh, or the Philistines. It said he strengthened himself, watch this now, against Israel. Hallelujah. In this context, amen, Israel now becomes the enemy. And the reason Israel becomes the enemy because, amen, throughout the northern kingdom, out of all the kings that they had, all of them were wicked. Amen. None of the kings of Israel, amen, were godly kings. They were God's people, amen, but they were under ungodly leadership. Ever learning, amen, the Bible says in the New Testament, ever learning but never coming to the knowledge, amen, of the truth, amen, hallelujah. They were, they were steeped in idolatry. Amen. Hallelujah. The Bible says about Israel that they went whoring under every green tree. And the Bible says when Jehoshaphat ascended to the throne, he strengthened himself against, amen, his sister kingdom. Amen. The Bible lets us know that he set up these garrisons, amen, of barriers between his kingdom and the northern kingdom. In other words, amen, watch this now. He didn't want the sin that was in Israel to see over to the sin. Amen. That was in Judah. I wish I had time. Amen. Tonight. Amen. Because I I, I, I I, would talk to you. Amen. Hallelujah. I would talk to you about, amen, everybody that's talking about going to heaven ain't going to heaven. Hallelujah. Amen. Everybody that's talking about heaven. Amen. Tonight. Everybody that's talking about it. Amen. It's not going. It's not going. Amen. Uh, to heaven hallelujah so he strengthens himself against israel hallelujah he says let the sin that's in israel stay in there amen hallelujah we don't want it coming over here amen we don't want it coming over here into a man Judah. in fact jesus picks it up and says amen watch this now that there's two roads in this life there's two roads Hallelujah, there's a wide road, and he said that road leads to destruction, and the narrow road leads to eternal life, amen, and few there be. Jesus says, amen, hallelujah, the people that find the narrow road, he says, few there be, hear me tonight, few there be, amen, that find it. And then he took us a look at the stone of friendship, amen, and the stone of friendship, amen, is very, very needful and necessary as you and I, amen, cross the streams of life, because we do not cross the streams of life on our own. We do so in the companion, amen, hallelujah, of friends, hallelujah, and the Bible is filled, amen, uh, uh, of friendships, amen, Ruth and Naomi is a great, amen, hallelujah, it's a wonderful friendship, amen, a story of friendship, amen, in the Bible. My favorite is Jonathan and David. The Bible says their souls were knit, amen, their souls was knit together, amen. But then there's stories, amen, like uh, uh, Paul, like Paul and Timothy, or Paul, amen, Paul and Titus, amen. Here's what the Bible says about a friend. I started to say a true friend, hallelujah, but there's no such thing as that, hallelujah. Either a friend is a friend, there's no such thing as you saying a true friend, amen. Uh, a friend, the Bible says, love it at all times. Hallelujah. If a person was ever your friend, amen, they're still your friend. If they're not your friend, they weren't your friend from the beginning. Amen. The friend, brothers and sisters, the Bible says, love it at all times. Now, the friend may not love what you do, 
the friend may not love what you represent, but hear me. The Bible says a friend love it at all times. And there is a friend. Thank you, Jesus. There is a friend, brothers and sisters, that sticks closer, amen, than a brother. Last week we looked at, amen, the stone of faith, amen, hallelujah. Faith is just too, faith is just too important for us to get twisted. Faith is too important, amen, for us, amen, to miss, amen, hallelujah. Faith is just too important, brothers and sisters, amen, because it's all about faith. This whole walk with God, amen, hallelujah, it's all about faith. Faith. faith is too important to watch this now to misinterpret hallelujah the bible says for without this thing called faith it's impossible to please god the bible goes on to say for he that cometh to god must first believe that he is amen and that he is a rewarder brothers and sisters of them that diligently seek him old and new testament quotes this the just shall live by his faith Hallelujah. Amen. There's only one way to please God. Amen. That's by faith, brothers and sisters. Amen. Hallelujah. And when we took amen last week, we took a, 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 a up close look at this thing called faith because of its importance, brothers and sisters. Amen. And we are, 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 are we found out last week, amen, that there's a difference between the faith of the Bible and the faith that the world holds. The world holds a faith that uh, 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 says, amen, as long as they have enough faith, they can accomplish, amen, anything that they want. That's not biblical faith. Hear me on today. At best, amen, it's it's faith in faith. Hallelujah. But faith in faith, brothers and sisters, is not faith in God. Hallelujah. At best, that type of faith, brothers and sisters, is positive thinking. The Bible lets you know and the Bible lets me know, amen, that our faith, biblical faith, has an object. And biblical, the object of biblical faith is God. Amen. Jesus says, I have faith. Amen. In God. Hallelujah. We saw how faith played out in the life of Abraham. Amen. We looked at Abraham starting at chapter number 12 and all the way up until chapter 22. And we watched, amen, the workings of faith. Amen. Hallelujah. In case you missed it, amen. I'm going to encourage you to go back. Amen. Faith is this, brothers and sisters. It comes by hearing and it comes by hearing the word of God. We watched Abraham, who was the father of faith, who when God, amen, spoke to him to get out of his country. Hallelujah. Get from around his kindred, amen, out of his father's house. The Bible says, watch this now, and Abraham arose, brothers and sisters. Amen. So faith, brothers and sisters, is hearing what God is saying and then responding to what God is saying, amen, by faith. And on tonight. We're going to take it a step further, brothers and sisters. We're going to talk about the stone of honesty, amen, because as we look around in the world that we live in, hallelujah, the world that we live in, brothers and sisters, honesty, brothers and sisters, amen, hallelujah, it's not much, there, there's not much of, of this thing called honesty in the world that we live in, amen, hallelujah, we're in a world, brothers and sisters, of fake news, we're in a world, brothers and sisters, amen, that people, amen, believe all kind of stuff, QAnon theory, amen, we're, we're just believing all kinds, we're just believing all kinds of things, brothers and sisters, amen, hallelujah. I want to start with a few quotes that I found, amen, on honesty, to get us started. Amen, one of the quotes said, watch this now, honesty is the best way to prevent a mistake from turning into a failure, I like that. Honesty is the best way to prevent a mistake, brothers and sisters, from turning into a failure. The next quote I saw said this, honesty has, has, has the power that very few people can handle. People ask you for the truth, brothers, and tell me the truth, but people, <laughs> people can't handle, amen. People can't really handle the truth, but they really want you to tell them, amen, is what, amen, it's what they want to hear, amen, hallelujah. The next quote all of us are familiar with, it says, honesty is the best policy. I swear by that, brothers and sisters. Honesty, amen, is, amen, the best policy. Hallelujah. Another quote says, watch this now. Oh, this one was good. It says, uh, honesty is a very expensive gift and don't expect to get it from cheap people. Ooh, ooh, I like that. Honesty is a very expensive gift, so don't expect to get it from cheap people. Hallelujah. It says, watch this now. The next one says, honesty may not get you a lot of friends, but it will always get you the right friends. Honesty may not get you a lot of friends, but it will always get you the right friends. 
Hallelujah. Amen. And then the last is honesty is the highest form of intimacy. Woo, I thought that was powerful. Honesty, it says, is the highest form of intimacy. So the question comes tonight, brothers and sisters, to you and I, how do you feel about honesty? More importantly, how does God, amen, how does God feel, amen, about honesty? Amen. That's the question tonight. How do you feel about honesty? And more importantly, how does God feel about honesty? Amen. This word honesty is a very, very interesting word. Amen. Honesty has been defined as the aspect of moral character that suggests positive and, and virtuous attributes and truthfulness, integrity, straightforwardness of conduct. I need to say that again. Amen. Honesty has been defined. It's the aspect of moral character that suggests positive and virtuous attributes such as truthfulness, integrity, straightforwardness of conduct. Hallelujah. Alone, it says, with the absence of lying, with the absence of cheating, with the absence of theft, the absence of deceit, and other things. Honestly, also, it says, involve trustworthiness. Honesty involves loyalty. It involves fairness and sincerity. Hallelujah. Honesty, brothers and sisters, when we when we look at it from uh, from, from God's perspective, in fact, we are uh, it's the norm. There it is. When we look into the word of God, you find out, brothers and sisters, that honesty is the norm, amen, in the Bible. Telling the truth and being honest, brothers and sisters, amen, at all times is highly it's highly valued by God and is considered, amen, necessary. We're walking with God. Honesty, brothers and sisters, amen. Honesty is needful and necessary. It's highly valued, amen, by God. Hallelujah. It's a necessary part of integrity, amen. If you got integrity, amen, we talk about the word integrity, amen. Honesty, brothers and sisters, is a necessary part. It's a necessary part, amen, of integrity, and it's also a necessary part, amen, of faithfulness, amen. We cannot have integrity with God, and we can't, cannot be uh, uh, have faithfulness in our walk with God without brothers and sisters, amen, uh, uh, having this stone having this stone called honesty. In fact, amen, if we look at our Bibles, amen, in the Mosaic Law, in the book, amen, starting there in Leviticus, Leviticus chapter 19 and 11, God commands, amen, his people, amen, to do not deceive one another. And in the book, amen, of Exodus chapter number 20, amen, uh, verse number 16, God command that his people, amen, do not give a false, amen, watch this now, do not bear false witness, amen, do not give false testimony, amen, against one another. And then in Psalms, amen, hallelujah, in Psalms, amen, I want to go there, in Psalms chapter, uh, Psalms number 15, Psalms 15, amen, uh, we're going to look at verse, uh, starting at verse number 2, Psalms 15, verse number 2 says this, he that walketh uprightly, and work it righteousness, and speak it, amen, watch this now, and speak it the truth in his heart, he that backbited not with his tongue, nor do it evil to his neighbor, nor take it up a reproach against his neighbor, in whose eyes a vile person is contemned, condemned, but he honored them that feared the Lord, he that sweareth to his own hurt and changes not, he that put it not out his money to usury, nor take it reward against the innocent, he that doeth these things shall never be moved. God highly values, hear me, God highly values the characteristic, the quality, he highly values the quality of the thing, a man called honesty and over in Colossians chapter number three verse nine it connects honesty watch this now with truthfulness hallelujah when we get over into the new testament it connects honesty amen with truthfulness amen hallelujah watch this now 
which brothers and sisters, amen, has to be a part, amen, of every child, of every child of God as we walk, amen, in the newness, amen, of life. And like a coin, brothers and sisters, amen, honestly, amen, it's like a coin, it has two sides, amen, hallelujah, because the flip side, amen, of honesty, brothers and sisters, amen, is this thing called dishonesty. We, we looked up the word, amen, dishonesty. Dishonesty, brothers and sisters, uh, it's a willful perversion of truth in order to deceive, cheat, or defraud. It is opposite of every virtue that honesty stands for. Watch this now. It says it's a willful, brothers and sisters, hear me tonight. It's a willful perversion, amen, of, 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 of the truth, amen. So we don't just trip up. Amen. Hallelujah. You don't trip and fall, amen, into to dishonesty. Hallelujah. It's defined as a willful perversion, brothers and sisters, of truth. Hallelujah. In order to deceive or defraud. Hallelujah. It's opposite, brothers and sisters, of the virtues, amen, that honesty, that honesty stands for. Hear me tonight. Stay clear. Hear me tonight. Stay clear, brothers and sisters, of people, amen, uh, who claim to be saved but are dishonest. Amen. Stay clear, brothers and sisters, of dishonest people, amen. Hallelujah. Jesus told the Pharisees, amen, hallelujah. Jesus told the Pharisees, you're of your, you're of your father, amen, of the devil, amen. He says, amen, he was a liar, amen, from the beginning. Amen. He's a liar and there is no truth in him. Stay clear, Amen from dishonest. Amen. Stay clear from dishonest people. So in our text on tonight, amen, over in uh, Luke's gospel, amen, chapter number 15, Jesus is telling, amen, a parable. Amen. We know, amen, that a parable is simply an earthly story, amen, with a heavenly meaning. We know, amen, brothers and sisters, amen, that a parable is truth, amen, in picture form. So Jesus is there, amen, he's talking to a mixed crowd. Amen. Hallelujah. And the Pharisees are among, amen, that, 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 uh, are there in the midst of that crowd. And he's telling a parable, amen, about, amen, the unjust, the unjust steward. Hallelujah. And as Jesus goes through the parable, amen, he's showing, amen, hallelujah, that this unjust steward found out that he was going to be fired. He's going to lose, amen, his job. Amen. But all he knows, amen, is the job that he's doing. Amen. Hallelujah. The Bible says, amen, so what does he do? Amen, he knows that he's, he's, he's got too much pride to beg, amen, he don't know how to dig, amen, hallelujah, all he knows how to be is unjust. The Bible says what he does is, amen, he goes out to some of his master's uh, uh, debitors, amen, and he asks them, amen, how much do you owe my master? Uh, listen, scratch that out, amen, listen, just pay the half of that, amen, I'm going to vouch for that, amen, he goes to another and says, how much do you owe Amen. He says, listen, no, 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 no. He says, listen, scratch that out. Amen. Hallelujah. Uh, 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 and put this there. Amen. And I'm going to vouch. Amen. For that. Amen. Hallelujah. And what Jesus is doing, what Jesus is doing in his parable, brothers and sisters, amen, he's contrasting. He's showing the contrast between, amen, two groups of people, unbelievers, amen, and believers. And what Jesus says, amen, watch this now, and highlighting what the unjust steward Amen. Is doing. Jesus says now for the children of the world in their day. Watch this now. He says, a wiser, amen, than the children, amen, than the children of light. Amen. Hallelujah. And uh, 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 Jesus, Jesus says now for the children in their day. They're wiser, amen, than the children of light, amen, in their day. Amen. Hallelujah. In other words, amen. Jesus is saying, amen. Hallelujah. This unjust steward. Hear me, brothers and sisters. This unjust steward understands, amen, that he's walking in darkness. Amen. Watch this now. So he works the darkness in his favor. Watch this now. Jesus is contrasting that with the children of light. We're walking, amen, brothers and sisters. You and I are walking, amen, in light. We're in the kingdom of God. Amen. Watch this now. And God has provided, amen, everything, amen, that we need. Hallelujah. Watch this now. So when it comes down, amen, to being anxious, when it comes down to being, uh, to, to, to worrying, 
Amen. That should have no place, amen, in our life, amen, hallelujah, because God has already, he's already, amen, provided, amen, for your need, he's provided for my need, and he's done it according to his riches and glory. Now, here's the thing about God. The earth is the Lord and the fullness thereof. Amen. Hallelujah. God has granted unto you and me everything that we'll need and everything that you're going to ever need. Hallelujah. And all we have to do, amen, hallelujah, is walk in, amen, our righteousness. Somebody should have shouted glory, amen, right there. Amen, hallelujah. Even, amen, hallelujah. What Jesus is saying, amen, hallelujah. Jesus is saying, amen, hallelujah. Listen, brothers and sisters, Jesus is saying there's no word, there, there's no need, amen, for you or me, amen, to worry, amen, about anything. Now, as Christians, brothers and sisters, there's four main areas that we're challenged in. There's four areas, amen, that you and I, amen, hallelujah, we sh are we challenged in, amen, to be honest, amen, from time to time. The first area, amen, hallelujah, that I want to talk about, amen, that may challenge us, Amen. To be honest in, and that is, amen, to be honest, amen, with ourselves. Hallelujah. Never argue. Hallelujah. Never argue with someone that believes their own lies. Hallelujah. Mom says, hey, my mom used to say, if you lie, you steal. And if you steal, you kill. And if you kill, you're going to be killed. Amen. Now, I don't know how true that was. Amen. Hallelujah. But she would say, if you lie, you steal. Amen. And if you steal, amen, you'll kill. Hallelujah. Amen. Never argue with someone, brothers and sisters, that believes their own lie. There's nothing like self-deception, brothers and sisters. Jesus talks about that over, amen. Watch this now. Jesus talks about that, amen, over in uh, Revelations. Amen. Revelations, the third chapter. Amen. Hallelujah. Jesus talks about, amen. He talks about being honest, amen, with ourselves. Revelation, the third chapter. I want to start, amen, at verse number 14. Jesus is writing these letters, amen, to the seven churches, amen, of Asia Minor. Amen. And he gets to this church, amen, called Loyodicea. And this is what he says. Unto the angel of the church of Loyodicea, write these things, said the amen. He says, The faithful and true witness, the beginning of the creation of God. He says, I know thy works. He says, that thou art neither hot or cold. I would that thou were hot or cold. So then because thou art lukewarm, and neither cold nor hot, I will spew thee out of my mouth. Because thou sayest, I am rich and increased with goods and have need of nothing. And know it not that thou art wretched and miserable and poor and blind and naked? I counsel thee to buy of me gold tried in the fire, that thou mayest be rich, and white raiment, that thou mayest be clothed, and that the shame of thy nakedness do not appear. Anoint thine eyes with I say, that, that, that thou mayest, that thou mayest see. Jesus told this church, amen, that loyal to see that they were fooling, amen, that they were fooling themselves. You see, brothers and sisters, amen, they had big bank accounts. Hallelujah, they had a lot stored up, amen, in the treasury, hallelujah. But Jesus says, in, in fact, amen, although they had all of this material stuff, that they were yet blind and, 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 and naked spiritually. Hallelujah. They couldn't see, amen, spiritual things, spiritual truths. Hallelujah. And they couldn't see, amen, that they were naked, amen, spiritually. Hear me, brothers and sisters. Amen. Hallelujah. Honesty. Honesty begins, amen, on the inside of each one of us. Hallelujah. Understand tonight, brothers and sisters, there's no deception like self-deception. Jesus says in chapter number 8 of John's gospel, amen, 8 and 31, hallelujah, 30, 31, he says, if you continue, amen, in my word, you are my disciples indeed, and ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free, and I'd like to take it a step further, brothers and sisters, because it's not just knowing the truth that makes us free, it's applying the truth that you and I know, 
that actually makes us free. Hallelujah. And if you and if I, if we're going to be successful, brothers and sisters, if we're going to make our way successfully, amen, across the stream of life, and if we're going to please the Lord, amen, in the process, then you and I, we have to be honest people, amen. We have to, brothers and sisters, hear me tonight. We have to be people of truth, amen. We have to tell the truth. Hear me tonight, we have to, amen, believe the truth, and then we have to act on the truth. Hallelujah. We have to be people of truth. We have to tell it. We have to believe it. And then, amen, brothers and sisters, we have to stand on it. We have to act, amen, on truth. The Bible says, be ye doers of the word and not hearers only, amen, deceiving your own self. He says, because if any man, amen, hear the word and do it, if not, he is like a man beholding himself, amen, is beholding him natural face, amen, in the mirror or in a glass, hallelujah. He sees, amen, hear me, he sees, amen, the type of man he is as he's hearing the word. Amen. Hear me. Because the word, brothers and sisters, amen, the word is showing you and the word is showing me, is showing us ourselves. Hallelujah. James says, amen, hallelujah. But when we hear the word, brothers and sisters, amen, and don't apply it, we go away and immediately forgetting what manner of men or what manner of women, amen, that we are. Now, I read a survey the other day, amen, read this digestive survey. Watch this now. They surveyed 2,624 people. And in that survey, brothers and sisters, amen, watch this now, out of the 2,000 624 people, 63% of those people, amen, actually said that they had called in sick to work when they were not sick. Hallelujah. 63% of the people that were surveyed. Hallelujah. And watch this now. They asked the same 2,624 people. They asked them, they said, uh, have you ever pilfered it, anything, amen, from your job? Have you ever taken something, amen, from the job that you knew you shouldn't have taken? You're not going to believe this, but 63% of those, 63% of the 264, 24 people said they're actually, amen, watch this now, they are actually, amen, taking things, amen, from their job that they knew, amen, office supplies that they knew, amen, they should not have taken. 18% of those surveys said that they had lied on an application, amen, to get a job. 50% of those surveys says, amen, when they were given too much change back, amen, in the store from a clerk, amen, hallelujah, that they did not give that change back. Hallelujah, amen, hallelujah. 28% of those surveys said that they had lied to their spouse, amen, about, being, uh, about another relationship, amen, with somebody else. They kept an amen from them. We live in a society, brothers and sisters, this is what I'm saying. We live in a society, brothers and sisters, that is short on honesty, amen, and God, brothers and sisters, is not pleased, amen. I need to pause right there because the other day, amen, hallelujah, y'all remember Hurricane Ida. Amen. Hurricane Ida hit. Amen. And they had approved emergency food stamps. Amen. They had approved emergency food stamps. Amen. For all of us. Amen. So, I mean, I live in, I live in New Orleans. Amen. I was out of, amen. My electricity went off. Amen. I was out of lights. Amen. For 10 days like everybody else. Amen. Hallelujah. I had to evacuate. Amen. Hallelujah. Listen. Uh, so, uh, uh, they had approved emergency food stamps for all of us. Amen. That had been affected by Ida. So, amen, I called in like everybody else. Hey, man, watch this now. I called in. Uh, we had to wait a few days for the people to call us back. Y'all, 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 y'all know the routines. Hey, amen. So they called me back. The lady they asking me questions. Hey, amen, wanted to know my age, yada, yada, yada. So, uh, so she asked me how much did I make. Hey, man, hallelujah. And I thought to myself, you know, is that she want to know what do I do I make on paper or what do I actually make? Amen. Hallelujah. And I thought about that. And then uh, I kind of kind of twisted the truth a little bit. Watch this. I kind of twisted the truth a little bit. Amen. Hallelujah. Now, confession is good for the soul. It's not good for the reputation. But watch this now. It's not going to disorder. Because then she wanted to know, amen, how much money did I have in the bank? So I told her how much I had in the bank. She wanted to know how much at the time of the storm. So I told her. But she wanted to know Watch this. She wanted to know that I have any savings accounts. Uh, 
And I said, no, I don't have savings accounts, but I do have money markets, which is another form of a savings account, right? And she says, oh, well, how much is in it? And I thought about it. I said, no, I need to tell this lady the truth. And when I told her, she says, uh, Mr. Rogers, you don't qualify. I said, well, okay, I don't qualify. Amen, hallelujah. But my part is this. This is my part, brothers and sisters. Amen, hallelujah. Honesty is a needful and necessary stone if you and I are going to successfully cross the streams of life, watch this now, and make God happy and put a smile, amen, and put a smile on God's, and put a smile on God's face. Amen, hallelujah. I thought about it. I said, keep them in emergency, amen, food stamps. Amen, hallelujah. Keep them. Amen. And even when changing the store, amen. Listen, I had somebody, amen, to give me a, a, a five dollars too much. Man, I'm almost to my car. Amen. And I counted, uh, I had to go in my pocket, amen, to get the key out. And uh, I pulled the money back out and I counted the money. Uh, I said, whoa, wait a minute. I didn't count the money. There was a five on top, five dollar bill. And I knew I shouldn't have had five dollars in change. Amen. So I went back in the store. Amen. Hallelujah. I thought I said, now, nah, you know what? The devil is a liar. I am not about to, amen, mess myself up with God. Amen. Behind five dollars. Amen. I ran back into that store and gave that woman, amen, hallelujah, and gave that woman, amen, those five dollars. The next area we struggle in. Hallelujah. The first area we struggle in being honest is with ourselves. The next area, brothers and sisters, is with family. We struggle, amen, with being family, amen. And honesty should be the hallmark, hear me, of every family. Husband and wives, hear me today, amen, hallelujah. We must be sincere. We must be truthful, amen, with one another. When teaching our children, hear me, when teaching our children the values, the, uh, the values, amen, uh, of honesty, amen, hallelujah, amen, we should, amen, use, amen, biblical stories, use biblical stories, amen, to teach them, and, and the Bible is full of stories on both sides of the coin, on the positive side and on the negative side, I'm reminded on the negative side over in Joshua, amen, hallelujah, about the story, amen, of a man by the name of Achan, Amen. Y'all remember Aiken? Amen. Hallelujah. They went in and they had uh, 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 Jericho. The walls of Jericho had come down. Amen. And they were in. Amen. Hallelujah. The next battle. Amen. Hallelujah. And Aiken went in and took something that he wasn't supposed to take. Amen. Hallelujah. He did. He hit something. Amen. Of value in his tent. Amen. Hallelujah. And he tried, amen, to cover, tried to cover that thing up. He brought the wrath of God down, amen, upon the whole, watch this now, upon all of Israel. Amen. They went into the next battle, amen, and got defeated, amen. And over in, in 2 Kings, over in 2 Kings, there's a story, amen, hallelujah, about Gehazi, amen, a man by the name of Gehazi who acted dishonestly for the sake, amen, of financial gain. And then over, amen, in the gospel of St. Matthew, amen, there's the story, amen, of Judas. Can you believe this? Even Judas, one of God's hand-picked, own hand-picked disciples, one of Jesus' twelve, sold Jesus out, amen, for 30 pieces of silver. Then there in Acts chapter number five, there's the story of Ananias and Sapphira, amen, hallelujah, Ananias and Sapphira, amen. Listen, they got in, uh, 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 they had this piece of property, amen, that they sold. Amen. And, and in the early church, amen, people were selling everything, bringing it to the church, landing at the apostles' feet. They had all things equal. There were no big eyes and no small U's, amen, in the, in, 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 in the first church in the book of Acts. So Ananias and Sapphira, his wife, they had sold his property, amen, and they kept back part of it. Amen. Hallelujah. But they want to run in the temple. Amen. They want to run in the temple. Amen. Hallelujah. And cover it up and pretend to be. Amen. Something they they, they 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 were not. Amen. Hallelujah. I liken that to Amen. When we were coming up in church, we used to have these uh we used to have these lines years ago. Amen. Y'all remember the hundred dollar line? Amen. How many people can give a hundred dollars? Amen. Hallelujah. Everybody that was standing up wasn't giving a hundred dollars. You know that. Amen. Hallelujah. They just wanted to be seen. Amen. Give it. Kind of like Ananias. Ananias here and and Sapphira. Amen. Hallelujah.
But on the positive side, that's on the negative side. On the positive side, there was Jacob. You know, Jacob had these 12 sons who wound up being the heads of uh, uh, the 12 tribes of Israel. Amen. The patriarchs of the 12 tribes of Israel. Amen. Hallelujah. Jacob's. Amen. Hallelujah. Uh, uh, he urged his sons, amen, to return money that they had found, amen, in their sacks. Remember when they came back, amen, hallelujah, the money was hidden, amen, in their sacks. He, he returned. He urged them to return, amen, that money. Amen. So secondly, brothers, first of all, we have to be honest with ourselves. Secondly, amen, we need to be honest, amen, hallelujah, with our family. Thirdly, we need to be honest, amen, in the church. Amen. Brothers and sisters, we need to be honest, amen, in the church. Amen. Hallelujah. Proverbs 15 and 28 says this, the heart of the righteous, amen, weighs its answers, but the mouth of the wicked gushes evil. The heart of the righteous weighs his answers. But the mouth of the wicked gushes, he says, evil. And over in James, amen, 126, he says, amen, those who have considered themselves religious but cannot, amen, bridle their tongue or, 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 or put a bridle on their tongue. They deceive themselves and their religion, amen, is worthless. Why did I, why did I read those two scriptures? Simply because brothers and sisters in the church and our fellowship, amen, it, produce, it, 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 it presents to you and it presents to me, amen, uh, uh, it presents, amen, many opportunities, amen, to develop, amen, honesty, amen, but it's very important, it's very important, amen, that we are very careful in our conversations that we have, in our conversations, brothers and sisters, that we have with each other, because, in fact, if we are not careful, we can easily, amen, turn those conversations into gossip, amen, and easily, amen, turn that stuff into slander, amen, hallelujah. If we repeat something, brothers and sisters, amen, and we're not certain, we're not certain, amen, of the origin, amen, we can be helping spread a lie, brothers and sisters. So it is much better, amen, to control, amen, what comes out of, what comes out of our mouths, amen. You want to keep your conversations, amen, wholesome. Amen. Hallelujah. The Bible talks about being a busybody. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. We want to be honest. Amen. In the church. Amen. Hallelujah. Also, we want to be honest. Amen. And our, 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 our business dealings. Amen. You know, because in the church, amen, we come together. Amen. In the church. Amen. I do this. You do that. Amen. And we come together. Amen. Hallelujah. And we come together, amen, to work these business deals. Hallelujah. Amen. If we hire someone, amen, listen, if God has blessed you, put you in a position to hire someone, the Bible says a workman is worthy of his hire. Amen. We should pay, amen, an honest day's pay, amen, for an honest day's, amen, work, amen. And when you're going into business with another believer, Amen. Hallelujah. It's wise, brothers and sisters. Amen. To put the details of that business down in writing. Amen. Get it signed off on it. Amen. Get another witness. Amen. Hallelujah. But the Bible, amen. Hallelujah. Says that when Jeremiah, when Jeremiah bought a certain plot of land, amen. Hallelujah. He had that transaction documented. Hallelujah. And then he had duplicates, amen, made and witnesses and he kept it, amen, for future references, brothers and sisters. That's only wise. Hallelujah. And then we ought to be wise in the secular world, brothers and sisters, for the writer of Hebrews says this, pray for us. For we are confident that we have a good conscience in all things, desiring to live honorably. Our dealings in the world, brothers and sisters, when we're dealing in the world, amen, we have to keep it, amen, we have to keep it honest. Even if brothers and sisters in the church, when we're dealing, amen, with Christians, uh, 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 God is interested in us being honest, amen. Proverbs 11 and 1 says, Dishonest scales are an abomination to the Lord, but a just weight, brothers and sisters, a just weight, amen, in his, is his delight. We'll close with this. Peter says this, 1 Peter 2, 11 and 12, I beg you as sojourners that you abstain from freshly, from fleshly lust, which wars against your soul, having your conduct honest among the Gentiles, that when they speak of you as evildoers, they may be when they speak to you as evildoers, they may, by, they may be by your good works, which they observe glorify God as, 
glorify God as in the day of as in the day of visitation. Honesty, brothers and sisters, amen. Hallelujah. Honesty is a stone, brothers and sisters, that you and I, amen, that we need, amen, hallelujah, if we're going to successfully cross the stream of life, amen, and please God, amen, while we are crossing those streams. God honors, God, God values, should I say, God values honesty. He values, amen, he values honesty. God delights in it, amen, and God makes a promise. He makes promises to me. God makes promises to you. God makes promises to those of us that are honest. And God, watch this now. God ordains honesty, brothers and sisters, as a hallmark, amen, of the life of the believer. So we always want to be honest with ourselves. We always want to be honest, amen, with our family members. We always, brothers and sisters, want to be honest, amen, in our business dealings. We want to be honest in the world, amen, hallelujah. We want to be honest, brothers and sisters, amen, in the church. Being honest means choosing not to lie. It's, being, it's choosing not to steal. It's choosing, amen, not to cheat, amen, or to deceive in any way. Hallelujah. When we are honest, brothers and sisters, what we're doing is we're building strength, amen, of character. That's it. Hallelujah. And that strength of character will allow me and it will allow you Amen. To be of great service to God and to other people. Hallelujah. Amen. Honesty is the stone, brothers and sisters. Amen. Honesty is the stone that you and I need to successfully, one of the stones that you and I need to successfully cross. Amen. The stream, the stream of life. Hallelujah. I trust, amen, tonight that we will bless, amen, and in true, amen, this teaching. If you would, just bow your heads. Let us pray. Tell my God, our fathers in Jesus' name that we come. We just want to thank you tonight, O Lord. I want to thank you, God, now for your word that is true. We thank you tonight, O Lord, in Jesus' mighty name that for reminding us, O Lord, now that honesty is a hallmark, God, now of the Christian life. So we bless you, we praise you, O Lord, now for the grace that you've given us, O Lord, now to be honest, O Lord. Honest first with ourselves, honest, O Lord, now with our families. Honest, oh God, now in the church and our business dealings, God, now and in our, our dealings, oh God, now in the world, oh Lord. We thank you, oh God, because oh, for although we can hide, God, now things from people, we cannot hide anything, God, now from you. We love you tonight, God. We honor you and we praise you tonight. We pray for grace to love you even more. Pray these blessings in the name of our life, changing King Jesus to Christ. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. If you was blessed on tonight, amen. Why don't you shout glory? Amen. Why don't you shout amen? Hallelujah. On tonight, amen. To all of our visitors, amen. I, I see a couple of visitors, uh, a few visitors, amen, in here tonight. Amen. Thank you so much. Amen. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, amen, for sharing with us. Amen. On tonight. Amen. Hallelujah. This is where we are every Thursday night. Whenever the opportunity, amen, presents itself. Amen. Hallelujah. We invite you to come back. Amen. And share with us as we study the word of God. Amen. For the Bible teaches us that we are to study, to show ourselves approval, the workmen that need not be ashamed, rightly dividing. Amen. Rightly dividing. Amen. The word of truth. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. For those of you, amen, tonight, amen, is your night, amen, hallelujah, to tide, amen, hallelujah. Even our visitors, amen, hallelujah, you were blessed on tonight, we're going to invite you, amen, hallelujah, to participate with us in our time of giving, amen, hallelujah. Uh, on tonight, amen, those of you, amen, hallelujah, those of you, amen, you have your tightly app, amen, if not, you're visiting, amen, you can text the word give. Amen. Tonight, eight five two three six zero four. Amen. Two one. Amen. On tonight, right before you do, please allow Pastor. Amen. Please allow me. Amen. To pray. Amen. God's blessings over our over our time of giving. Amen. Our time of worship through giving. Amen. Let us pray. Our Father and our God tonight. We bless you for being. Amen. The source of our strength, supply of each and every one of our needs. We thank you for the seed that you've given us to sow in the ground, God, now that you've given us to sow therein. We thank you tonight, O oh Lord, in Jesus' mighty name. 
I ask, O oh God, now we give. We give, O oh God, now your word teaches us that it shall be given back unto us. Pressed down, shaken together, running over, see won't cause men to give into our bosom. So, Father, even as we sow, we do so in expectation. We pray your blessings upon our seeds. Bless them, God, now some 30, 60, even 100 full according to our faith. This in Jesus' name we pray. Come on, let the church once again shout glory. Amen. Hallelujah. Shout amen. Shout hallelujah. Amen. Shout hallelujah. Amen. On tonight. Amen. Hallelujah. Listen, I'm looking forward. Amen. First of all, I want to thank those of you that participated in intercessory prayer, participated and shared in intercessory prayer tonight. It was such a blessing. Amen. Such a fresh wind tonight. Amen. Such a fresh wind. Amen. Blowing. Amen. In intercessory prayer. Amen. On tonight. I was tremendously blessed. Amen. Tonight in prayer. I want to thank you. Amen. As I am going to. Amen. Continue to ask your prayers. Amen. Hallelujah. I want you to pray for me. Amen. And I'm going to pray for you. Amen. Hallelujah. Keep Pastor lifted up. Amen. In this season. Amen. Keep my family covered. Amen. Hallelujah. I just want to bless God. Amen. For all of you tonight. Amen. On the prayer line. Amen. Listen. I'm going to look for. I'm going to encourage you to meet us this Saturday. Certainly in our church school hour. Amen. Hallelujah. From 11 to 12. Amen. 11 to 12. One hour of power. Amen. God moves. Amen. In a powerful way. Even our businesses. I want to invite you. Amen. Our Sunday school hour. Our church school. We call it church school because we do it on Saturdays. Amen. Hallelujah. Our church school is just such a blessing. Amen. We're, we're learning so much. Amen. Thank God. Amen. For our instructors there. Amen. In church school. Amen. So we look forward, amen, to seeing you. Looking forward to seeing you this Saturday from 11 to 12. Amen. In church school. And then, amen, this Sunday to all of our parents. First Sunday, amen. School supply giveaway, amen, for all of our youth. Amen. We want to thank God, amen, for us, uh, Sister Cosner and Sister Hall. Amen. Hallelujah. That is just spearheaded this effort. Amen. Hallelujah. We're excited about being able, amen, to bless our children. Amen. We're excited about being able to bless our children. Amen. As they would go back, amen, into the school year. Amen. We'll be praying. We'll be praying over our children. Amen. Hallelujah. We're praying the graces, the blessings of God over our children. Amen. To protect them. Amen. Hallelujah. Throughout the school year. Grant them a grace. Amen. To be able to uh, be able to uh, 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 retain. Amen. The knowledge. Amen. Uh, uh, that's going to be presented. Amen. This year. Uh, unto them. Amen. So we're looking forward, amen, to God, amen, being in our midst, amen, on this weekend. Once again, thank you so much. Thank you so very much, amen, for uh, taking time out, amen, to uh, study the word of the Lord with us, amen, on tonight. I want you to know, amen, that Pastor loves you, amen, and there ain't nothing, amen, there ain't nothing that you can do about it, amen. Enjoy the rest of your evening. Amen. Hallelujah. May God continue to richly bless.